G'day and Merry Christmas to everyone from the Sydney Fly Fishing website and beyond. Uh, it's a uh, pretty cool day here in Sydney, on oh, Boxing Day, and it's not a bad day to tie flies. Now, if you're like me, you don't have a lot of time to tie flies. I don't like to spend a lot of time at the bench. I prefer to be fishing. <laughs> and uh, one thing I love is really effective flies that are very quick to tie. And one of the flies that we use a lot in Sydney on very, very fussy surface feeding fish are the gummy minnow. In fact, it's a, a very successful fly, but it's a pain in the bum to tie. I find it really, really hard to tie. So I'm gonna show you a way to tie them very, very quickly. They're effective, they seem to last quite well. I'm only new to uh, doing these style of flies, but uh, uh, you'll probably make them a lot better than I do. Uh, but this is a great technique. First, you're gonna need uh, uh, a few bits and pieces. Uh, well, my essentials for Boxing Day, good glass of red. I've, uh, I've chosen a Kunawara, there you go. <laughs> um, aged preferably. Uh, you're also going to need, uh, well, Boxing Day, you're going to need the Boxing Day test on the, uh, on the phone or on the TV. I've chosen the phone. That's very important. You've got to have your cricket on while you're tying. Uh, I've got moral support with Sunny here. That's very important as well. Now, the magic ingredient, everyone on my website uh, uh, that I've been speaking to wanted to know uh, how these flies are tied so quickly. I need to thank Raj Jaku from the uh, uh, Sydney Fly Rodders Club putting me on to this. This is the 3M VHB double-sided tape. Now, it is clear. It is completely translucent. There's a red backing on it, but one side is sticky here, the other side has the backing, but you'll find it double-sided. And what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna tie some size eight flies with it. Now I've got a little uh, mustard tarp on, I'll see you Sonny. Uh, I've got a little mustard, mustard tarp on hook here. They're very, very good, very strong. I like strong hooks because potentially we can hook some very big fish on these tiny little flies. Now, what I've found with the size eights is that if I cut the tape lengthways down this way with very sharp scissors, if I go exactly in half, I am able to make two flies out of the one piece of tape. So what I've done is I've cut the tape in half, right down the middle, and so now I'm just going to take the tape and place it over the hook. Now, just to ensure that it's going to stay nice and steady on the hook. It is very, very strong, the adhesive on this, but I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of super glue. Now what I've done with the hook is I've just tied some little Maxi Braid Sparkle Flash over the hook, just wrapped it once, just to give a tiny, tiny little bit of uh, subdued flash in there. And I'm gonna take this little piece of uh, double-sided tape. What I'll do is I'll trim a little corner off each side. There we go something like that, just to make it pointed at one end. And the, in essence, all you're gonna do is place that over the hook shank and push it together. Now, it's really important that you get both sides of the tape to touch each other underneath. So you're trying to get both sides of the tape. Be careful of that super glue. And you're gonna to have to hold it for a second. And we're trying to get both sides of the tape to actually fold around and touch on each other. And it takes a second, but what they essentially will do is actually melt onto each other. And there we go. There we go. Okay, they're starting to melt together. This stuff is really, really strong. Um, you can hold it with one hand and sip with the other. That's great. Now, that's starting to uh, really lock on there. I'm gonna take the actual hook, uh, the actual uh, scissors I should say, onto the hook, and I'm just gonna get them underneath the tape, and I'm gonna try and separate that backing from the actual tape. Now, it's important to use the scissors because if you try and do it by hand, it's pretty difficult. Now, once you've lifted the bulk of it up, which I've just done there, I've got a flap of it hanging off. Should be able to slide the scissors down between the tape and the backing. Get a good lift on that and peel it off. Now, try not to put your fingers all over the tape. There we go, peeled it off. 
Try not to put your fingers all over the tape. If you put your fingers on there, you will get fingerprints on there. Um, so that's, that's really important. Now, I could probably give that a little bit more of a trim up, but what I'll do is I'm gonna put the eyes on next. Um, select which eyes you want. These five mil eyes might just be a little on the big side, yep. I'm gonna use just some small, uh, small eyes. I've got so many eyes to select here. Um, what we wanna do effectively is just place some small eyes on that double-sided tape. So I'll grab these little luminescent eyes here. I'm just gonna put them on the end of a little piece of, a uh, little uh, uh, tool here to just separate the eyes. I'm gonna put a little drop of super glue. You actually don't really need this super glue. I've tied it without them, but just to be extra efficient. There's one eye on that side, and I'm gonna place another eye here. We'll put a little tiny drop of super glue, just memorize where that is, because you can't see it very well. And I'm going to just separate out an eye here and place that right on that super glue. There we go. Now, you're gonna give that a second to dry. That's the eyes there, I might just move that one up a fraction. Now, I should caveat this by saying they're not the most attractive flies in the world. They're, um, they're certainly not masterpieces, but man, they catch fish. They're really good. So we're gonna let that dry, and then all I'm gonna do is take some nail varnish, clear nail varnish, and I'm gonna coat the whole fly. I'm done, that's it. There's nothing to it. Now, I've also got some flies here that I, uh, I've tied up uh, various sizes, and one of the things I like to do is to make bigger candies with it. And I've tied here just a bit of DNA flash on the end of a, a size, uh, size 10 hook with a little bit of flash. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna fold the material over the hook, but instead of using epoxy to make a candy, I'll actually use that, uh, that double-sided tape and I'll get a very effective candy out of it, as I'll show you at the end. Um, once again, very effective, a little bit of translucency, but quick, just so easy to tie with. So that's the stuff, and thank you, Raj, again, for putting me onto this. It's called 3M VHB double-sided tape. I think it's about $9 Australian for a roll at uh, Officeworks, I got mine, but there's plenty of other places. And uh, that was really good. So to all the guys on my web forum at Sydney Fly Fishing, thanks for a great year. We'll catch you again, and uh, for all the people who wanted this recipe, uh, I said I'd do a, a thing today. So I'm gonna finish off this fly, and we'll be fishing it in the next few days. So. Uh, Tight lines, see you in the new year.